Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I think today is Vlogmas Day. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, is it Vlogmas Day 10? I'm pre-filming this video on the weekend, so for me, it's December 6th right now. So I'm not sure what day you're watching this, but I think it's Vlogmas Day 10. So hopefully I'm correct, otherwise I'll correct myself on the screen. But basically, today I wanted to film something about small businesses and to help small businesses a little bit more. I think personally, when it comes to Christmas present buying, anyway not even just this year like going to small businesses especially ones that are like have just started out or you know they're trying to do something different then that's a good christmas present idea to give people because it's not something that you know you might have seen before and it's just nice to get from smaller businesses and to contribute towards them instead of like feeding all of your money into amazon that really does not need the money right now so i think that is why i'm filming this video i have got quite a long list of like businesses on my phone small businesses i did put up a post on instagram and i asked do you know anybody that has a small business or have you got one yourself message me or i'll message you or whatever and i got quite a lot of responses so some of them was already on my list anyway because i do know some small businesses anyway and i can recommend them actually i've just thought of one that i'm gonna go quickly back in a second hello I'm back. I just went to grab something that I'll speak about in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video. I got a lot of messages and I'm gonna go through them. So please check out the links in the description. I will link every single one that I mentioned in this video in the description for you to go and check out if you would like to. And I just think it's nice to support smaller businesses rather than going on the kind of bigger places like Amazon and buying things. You know, I still buy from Amazon because obviously not every small business sells what I'm looking for. But I think for Christmas presents, it's nice to go for a little bit of smaller businesses. So grab a drink. I always say this because I just want to feature this mug in every video. But grab a warm drink and make sure it's a Christmas mug and watch this video because it might be quite chatty and long. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Small business number one is my own business. Obviously it would be a bit silly for me to not mention that. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this because I don't wanna waffle on too much, I'm sure you know about it. But my little small business is called Fresh Face and it's a skincare, little skincare business. And I made this probably a year ago. Yeah, nearly a year, actually no not a year ago quite a couple of months and then it will be a year ago and yeah i've got four core products at the minute because they do take a little while to kind of develop and everything and formulate and i will show you what they are because obviously i've got them to hand but i won't go through them too much because i want the focus of this video to be on other people's i have my fresh face detox clay mask which is a tea tree clay mask and i use this two times a week hence why my skin is so much clearer than it used to be genuinely clay masks are amazing for reducing spots, this is targeted towards oilier skin, but any skin type can use this, but it's best for oily, spot prone skin. I also have my Pure Tea Tree Oil, which again is for spots, and you just dot them on two spots on your face. I then have my Lemon Scented Cleansing Balm, which is what I remove, what I use to remove my makeup, and I use this every single night to remove my makeup, and then I cleanse afterwards, so that's like a makeup removal product and then a new product which i launched last week this is my fresh faced hydrating gel moisturizer so this is a moisturizer and it's a gel consistency so it's a little bit different i'm hoping to launch little bundles so a small bundle and then a larger bundle and that might already be on my etsy and my ebay page which i will link in the description so they're kind of like little gift sets and it will come with a christmas card that you can fill out so it comes with a christmas card as well but yeah so i'm hoping to do that but they're my products at the minute so i will put my links in the description but let's get on to the second business so the second one that I wanted to mention is my friend Jordana. I know her from uni. She does like the most amazing, cute little key rings and things. Obviously I'll overlay her Instagram and her Etsy page 
and it will be linked in the description but I wanted to mention her second apart from mine obviously um, because I've bought from her before also I know how much skill it takes to make these because I wouldn't even know where to start so I have these ones I did also have another turtle as well but it's not on my keys so I've got this little turtle here which is so cute that's the first one that I bought this one here which is so cute like I just love that and then also a bee and then a whale which is here so yeah they're my keys I am hoping well I am gonna after Christmas when I've got my Christmas money when I've got more money and my student loan to buy some more key rings from her and also I'm still hoping that she will still do baby yoda because i really want to buy the baby yoda that she does it's so cute i'll put a picture on the screen but yeah she's very talented and she has a successful etsy page so i will link it in the description go and check her out these are such cute little gifts to get somebody and it's you know cleverly done very very skillful so yeah go and check her out please because she's a very good friend of mine and she's also got a very good business then we have lucy who I know from years ago on YouTube. She used to have a YouTube channel. I still have my YouTube channel. I'm still posting. I don't think she posts anymore. Well, she doesn't, otherwise I would be watching them. But she has a nice like lifestyle Instagram page and I just love like, she like organized and stuff and I just love that kind of content. So I'll link that page as well because that's just nice and interesting. And if you like organization and like homeware stuff and things like that, then you'll enjoy that. But she makes like little, what do I call it? Like not clay, I don't know, I'm really thick, but basically like little decorations and things and like coasters and stuff and decorations to hang on a Christmas tree. I am going to put an order in with her in a day or two or today or whenever. I'm gonna put an order in with her to get a few things. They just look so good and yeah, please support that business because I know her personally. She's really, really nice. We did a collab on YouTube years ago and yeah, she's like really, really, really nice. So please go and support that. And yeah, again, very skillful and talented. I love this video because there's so many different things in here. I just, I'm here for it. So I'll link her actual Instagram and then her like Lucy, Love Lucy Crafts Co um, page in the description. Oh my God, my words are going. So the fourth small business is actually one that I've recently done like a few Instagram posts on. So if you see my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, which is linked in the description, then you would have seen that I did a post with these little coasters here. The, the brand contacted me saying that they're a small business, they're just starting out. Could they send me a couple of little coasters and I for me to like feature in videos and stuff so yeah I'm 100% featuring these I think I've already mentioned it in a vlog that went up a few days ago but this is something that I can actually show to hand and yeah I'm actually ordering some more of these because you can personalize them and they're handmade anything handmade I'm just here for because it takes so much time and effort for people to make things themselves and it just makes things feel a lot more special when you have them knowing that somebody has actually made this like with Jordana and her little um like key rings she's actually made that herself and that's just so nice and it's just more special to have something like that so yeah they are handmade they're also personalized I could have personalized these a little bit more tailored to like a name or something like I could have put my name on them I just couldn't figure out what to have as personalized so I went for a couple that they sort of used as examples so just one more tea and time to eat cake because both of these fit me very well I love drinking tea I drink a lot of tea and I also really love cake so I like those and yeah they're really nice and cute and I think it's you can get four for five pounds and also or they're two pounds each. They come wrapped up really nicely. I will insert a picture on the screen of what it looks like when it's wrapped up. But yeah, it's like the perfect Christmas gift that you could get somebody. And again, you can personalize them to that person. So yeah, that's what I really like about this one is that they, they can be personalized. So go and check out the link in the description. Support a small business at Christmas, you know, stocking fillers, anything like that. Just add it to a present. And yeah, I really love them. So thank you to them for sending me there these are the ones that i kind of have tried out and know about and now we're going on to the ones that people have suggested so we have lottie's shop so i when somebody recommended this to me i'm not sure who it was hang on let me see who'd 
recommended this to me. Yeah, somebody called Charlotte recommended her friend Lottie's page. And when I saw her page instantly, I'm just on it now, I was like, wow, that looks so nice. And I wish I had my ears pierced because these are earrings. And I don't have my ears pierced. I don't think I ever will because it's just not something that I really want to do not because i don't like earrings but because i just don't want to pierce my ears i don't know i don't want piercings of any kind however i know a lot of people do have their ears pierced and they're handmade and they just look so good like i'm just scrolling through hopefully i'll put images on them but look like every single one is completely different and like there's little flowers in them and yeah they just look so good and i really like stuff like this because when i first saw this i thought oh my god like there's so many different small businesses out there that just aren't getting recognized for like how good they actually are and again this is something that's special and as a gift it's handmade by somebody and it's just I don't know it just feels like a nicer present when you know that it's who who exactly it's from and that it is a small business and yeah i really like these and yeah i would highly recommend these so please go and check this person's page out because i think this is a great christmas present to get somebody that wears earrings so go and check out her i will link her instagram in the comments and you can dm her to buy them or you can get them on it so the sixth small business is Minimo jewellery, I think. Let me research that. So this was recommended by someone called Emily. She recommended two small businesses. The first one is Minimo jewellery, I think. And this is like the most aesthetically pleasing page ever. Like I wish that I could do this for my pictures, but I just, I just can't take pictures that like look that clean and fresh. And obviously this is a jewel, a jewellery little brand and they've got their etsy shop there so i will link their i will link their instagram in the comments when it comes to these small businesses i will either link their etsy shop or i will link their instagram nine times out of ten i will link the instagram just because then you can see like what their instagram's like information about it etc and then click on the link that's in their bio um but yeah there's so there's some really nice things on here and the Christmas gift boxes look really neat and packaged really nicely. So yeah, this is such a cute little page. And then she also suggested Twig P Candles. I really like that name, that's cute. Again, very aesthetically pleasing. I think it's run by the same person as the other page because it does look very similar. And yeah, these are candles. I really wanna do a candle on my, um, on my skincare thing but it's obviously not skincare but it doesn't really matter i could still do one um because i love candles so yeah i might get one of these candles you know these look so good cruelty free and vegan yeah these look really nice i might get one of these myself go and check them two out i will link both of those instagrams in the description my foot is numb my foot is numb oh my god i'm just gonna get through the pain of my foot being dead um, I nearly missed this one. I hope I haven't missed anybody that wanted to be in this video because I nearly missed this person's because I forgot to add it onto my list. But this one is Lula B, I think, Lula B. She makes little earrings and things like that. And again, just so talented, like skillful. And I just love how every single business in this video, there's just so much different stuff. And she does necklaces and she also does earrings and yeah i just think that's amazing like all the stuff that she does and her page looks really cool as well and i think she's on etsy yeah she's linked to her etsy shop so i will link that in the description but yeah if you like jewelry and things like that or if you've got a friend that likes them please go and check her out i'm so hoping i've not missed anybody else because i will be really annoyed if i have then we have a slightly bigger brand i wouldn't class this necessarily as a small small business because they do have 160,000 followers on instagram which i do think is quite a lot but i will link them anyway it was suggested by somebody by somebody called steph and these are not steph who i'm best friends with by the way <laughs> but hi steph if you're watching um but this page they do earrings and jewelry so go and check them out I won't mention them too much because they are a little bit of a bigger business, but we've got them. And then I think she also mentioned by Melinda. Yeah, she mentioned by Melinda, which is definitely a small business. And I will link this person's Instagram in the description. They are on Etsy as well. They make little scrunchies and oh my God, they look so cute. Like fluffy scrunchie. Oh my God, I want one of these for Christmas. How much are these? I'm going to look, I'm going to get stuff. For people's presents and for myself from this video so if nobody else buys anything from this video 
I am. So, you know. Um, but yeah, she makes scrunchies and stuff. And yeah, the fluffy ones for me are the ones that I really like the most. So yeah, go and check them out. I will link them in the description. Right, now we're coming to things that I wasn't sure whether to include these. And it's MLM businesses. So I don't want to be rude or anything. And I don't want to be controversial. Because I try not to be when I discuss this. But I didn't know whether to include people's MLM sort of things because I don't class them as businesses myself. I know other people do and a lot of people I know speak about the fact that they wouldn't class them as businesses and I wouldn't because I've had my small business which is what I've got now and I've done the body shop at home which is an MLM, multi-level marketing company, which is where you um, recruit people and you sell stuff and you can earn bonuses on recruiting certain people and for me, I just don't, I'm just not a massive fan of that, but I did do it and I'm glad I did it because it taught me how to kind of sell things. But when I compare my, what I'm currently doing to that, I know the difference between what's a business and what isn't. And what I do, I have to buy the packaging, I have to buy it, design the labels, create the formula, make the products. And I think when somebody calls their MLM their own business, I just, I'm just not, you know, I just disagree. But obviously everyone's got their own meaning of what a business is, but I still wanted to include these in here because, because I still think these people should be supported and you know, these body shop groups or Scentsy groups or whatever, FM, there's loads of different MLM companies out there. And you know, you can earn some money from it. It is a lot more difficult to earn money than you would think from those. And you know, I, I think I might make a video on this in the future as to why I don't really like it as much. I don't really want to come across it in this video because I don't want to come across being rude and I'm trying not to be. But I did still want to, I do still want to stress that I will still buy from MLM companies and groups because if I'm going to buy, I'll buy from somebody that will benefit from it that I know and I will still support them in terms of purchasing items from them. Just because I don't want to do that myself doesn't mean I won't buy from them, but it also doesn't mean that I agree with the whole thing. So I've got a couple to mention here, but I will make a video about this, I think, at some point in the future because I do have quite a lot to say um, about this, but... If you do want to buy anything from the body shop, then I will link somebody I know's page in the description. She's called Emily. She is really, really nice and she does post a lot, which is really good. And she does live videos and everything like that. Her makeup is really nice. Like she does amazing makeup. And I will link her page in the description for you to go and DM her if you want anything. When I did the body shop, I got to grips and I got to know how good the products are and I really do truly love the products. If you're a fan of my channel and you've watched me for a while then you'll know I do a lot of body shop related videos so you would have seen that and I do really love their products. There's only a select few that I don't like. Um, so I will link her body shop group in the description. I think she also sells um, fragrances so I think it's called FM. I don't really know too much about it but I think they're like fragrances that are meant to be dupes of more expensive ones so she does that and then also I have another person who does the body shop at home and she's called Kira May and I will link it in the description if you want anything from the body shop from her so we have two body shop people in here um so if you want to buy something from either of them that would be great and then she's also got a Scentsy group which I haven't I'm gonna join that that's cute I haven't Got been in anyone's Scentsy group. So I will link hers down below. So I'll link Emily's Body Shop group and also her FM thing, um, unless it's linked together. I think it's linked together. And I will also link Kira's Body Shop group and Scentsy group as well. Just wanted to mention them both at the end because it's a bit of an iffy subject with certain people, including myself, but still support people that, you know, um, sell things for MLM companies because I can understand why people would call it a business because you're making money but I don't think you can call it your own business because you don't own what you're doing if you know what I mean like you you don't you know man you don't make the products you don't formulate them you just earn commission on those products whereas I actually make and um, make my own profits for these and calculate things whereas that's all about sort of earning commission I still you know sometimes I'll feature products in vlogs and stuff I earn commission from those products if I feature them so if somebody buys 
for example, a pair of leggings that I'm wearing, I will get sometimes 30% commission and I don't even have to do anything. And I would say that's quite similar to the body shop, apart from with the body shop and things like that, a lot more effort goes into it than that. So I just personally think there's a lot of effort into it. Don't want to ramble on, but if you would like to go and support everybody and all the small businesses that i've mentioned in this video then please go check out the description box it's going to be very big so if there's anything you like for example skincare with me jordana's little key rings so cute we've then got family tiles little coasters and then obviously there's jewelry earrings and necklaces and um, candles there's loads of different things so go and check out the description box and hopefully i wasn't rude at the end of this video i just want to get what i'm trying to say across without sounding rude because i just don't want to come across as offensive but then again just support people you don't have to drag people down for what they do even if you don't don't agree with it but you don't have to pretend that you do agree with it either if you know do you know what i mean so i'm just gonna end this video before i say something that i shouldn't Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and check out the description. Subscribe for the rest of Vlogmas and I will see you tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 11, which I believe will be a daily vlog. So see you then. Goodbye.